Good morning, grade 10. As I promised, we will have the examples today. At the same time, we will not uh, into hurry. We, we just did the discussion uh, for you to uh, have an idea about the lesson. At the same time, you can answer your uh, mastery test, right? But we need to digest everything that we had discussed. How can we digest everything? By giving instruction, by giving examples. Let's have the examples for Charles Law. Remember that Charles Law is talking about um, talking about the temperature and the volume with the constant. Or we can have the formula as expressed by volume one over volume or time temperature one is equal to volume volume 2 or the final volume over the temperature 2 or final temperature v1 is uh, over t1 is equal to v2 over t2 so let's have this example first how can you apply this formula remember if it is directly proportional okay you can actually cross multiply because this is directly proportional. They're actually equal, right? Let's have this example. Let me share my screen again. Okay. Let's have this example. Okay, balloon. Okay, can you see still my third screen? Yes. All right. So the example is a balloon initially has a volume of 0 0.4 or 0 0.40 liters and a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. Okay. What will be the volume of the balloon after it is heated to 250 degrees Celsius? So you can actually see the initial volume and temperature and the final temperature, which is asking about the final volume. Okay. Since they're directly proportional, okay, meaning to say that the initial and the final temperature, the initial temperature and the initial volume is equal to the final volume and the Initial final volume and the final temperature. So this is now the given. You need to write first the given. Okay. We have the initial volume V1. This is equal to what is the initial volume there? 
0.4 liters. Okay. The initial temperature of is the initial temperature there given? 20 degrees Celsius. Degrees Celsius. The final volume is actually and the final temperature is 250 degrees Celsius. 250 degrees. So substitute. First you need to have the formula. Okay, substitute. Since B1 there is, what is the value of the B1? 0 0.4. 0 0.4 liters. Mm -hmm. Need to substitute it first. And over 20 degrees Celsius. For T2, P1, rather. It's equal to Chair, aren't we supposed to convert the degree Celsius to Kelvin? Yes. We need to convert that one to Kelvin. We need to use the Kelvin simply because we are um trying to uh give a, a correct um i'm not saying i'm not saying that degree celsius is not correct but we need to give the exact um uh exact uh number or exact computation for that particular temperature okay t2 here is degrees celsius okay Let's convert now degree Celsius. How can we convert degree Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. By adding? By adding 273 to the degree Celsius. 73. Okay. 273. Okay. So I'm going to have this computation 20 plus 273 is equal to 293 293 93 Kelvin do not forget the Kelvin sign the unit okay plus eh, 273 okay So this is equal to 273 plus 250? 500. 523. Kelvin or Kelvin. Let's have this one. Sorry. 
What should be done next? Um, you will. Oh no. Wait. You will multiply by one. Multiply. Both sides. Multiply both sides by. Five hundred twenty-three, Kelvin. Why? To cancel the 523 Kelvin on the other side. I mean, in the side of the V2, so that V2 will remain. We need to keep V2 intact, right? Because the we, we are asking, or the problem is asking about V2. Okay. Yes. I think... Yeah, I think we should multiply both sides with 523 Kelvin to, to eliminate the 523 Kelvin on the V2 side. But uh, I mean, so that the only thing that will remain on the side will be V2. How about That's this way? Okay, let's have this. How about this way? What do you think? Is that cross multiplication? Huh? Any idea? Since you need to retain V2, V2 is one being asked in the problem. What should, what um, mathematical uh, uh, mathematical procedure should we use or appropriate for the problem? What do you think? I, I think we should multiply 523k Kelvin to 0.4l over 293 is equals to V2 since V2 has no value or unknown yet. Okay. We will multiply so will, 523 so I think it will become uh, 0 0.4L times 523K over 293K is equals to V2, if I'm correct, I don't know. It could be. Any other idea? If you were going to uh, multiply both sides by 523, how about the value of the V2? Okay. In simple ruling for um, scientific calculations, if you cross multiply, um, both sides or cross multiply the other side with um, the unknown it will be retained because it is unknown okay you cannot cross multiply unknown terms in uh, scientific problems right so this is applicable the one uh, mentioned this or discussed the scenario is correct okay. we can actually use that one okay again if you cross multiply terms with the unknown, it will be retained. 
Why? Because you cannot cross multiply unknown terms. This is in scientific terms, right? This is in scientific terms. So let's have this one. Mm -hmm. Zero point four liters. I'm 523 Kelvin. Equal to. B2. Over two hundred ninety three. Did we retain the two hundred ninety three? Yes, Kelvin. Okay, what should be done next? Cancel the K. Kelvin. Okay, cancel the Kelvin. So, 0. 0.4 times 523. 0. 0.4 plus 523, this is? Oh, oh 209.2.4 times uh, divided by times 523. Wait. 523. 209.2. Correct? Yes. Yes. 209.2 divided by. Two nine divided by two hundred ninety three. Um, zero point seventy one. If you round it up to the nearest tenths, I mean, okay. hundred. So the answer is zero point zero point seven fourteen. Okay. We need to get the nearest tenths. Okay. Zero point seven. Seven. Seventy one. Because the next digit is three. So, um, hundreds, sir. Hundreds, brother. Yeah. So. 0 0.71. What should be the meters? Meters. Because we're talking about volume. Okay. Yes. And this is our answer. Okay. This is applicable. Yes. Any any question? Um about the solution that I had. I think it came up with the same answer as yours so can we use um is it possible to have different solutions but have the same answer yes yes there is a big possibility of course it depends upon the situation but if you're going to look at this this is just the basics of um computing scientific terms or scientific problems okay you can use your own um formula you can use your own solution as long as you come up with the same answer okay even in your exam i'm still looking at how there is a big possibility that there are a lot of um solutions to that particular problem even einstein did a lot of solution and he came up with the same answer okay 
That is why I am asking you, how can you solve the particular problem? Okay? This is not just challenging you, but asking you some suggestions that came up or come up in your mind that you can share it in the class. Okay? This is now internalization. We need to internalize our lessons even though this is online. Because the, once this is face-to-face -face, or if it is face-to-face, -face, I will ask you a lot of examples and a lot of solutions to the problem. That's how we manage the class. That's how I manage the class also. Okay? This is to challenge you. And you'll be remembering all of this in your higher years. In, in, in educational terms, this is called conditioning. Mind conditioning. Okay? I think we already have left. We have eight minutes left. And then there are a lot of problems part to be solved. Do you have any question with this problem? Same, huh? If the, the, the question there is talking about or asking for T1, it's the same. Or T2, it's the same. As long as, again, you can have your own solution as long as you come up with the same answer. Okay? So how can you test your answer? The same procedure. You remove the one or you remove any of those and then you do the solution. If you came up with the, with the correct answer, therefore your answer is correct and your solution is correct. Right? Do you have any um, solution for this problem? Any other suggestion? Biloso and the other in Ario? Uh, I really That's the, the one I talked about. Earlier. Yes, this is from Inario actually. Okay. Um, we will take this little by little. Gas laws um, are quite uh, complicated if we make this complicated, as simple as that. But if, if you will make this as easy as possible and you will not into hurry, we can actually digest the topic and you can learn out of the topic right i just don't want to be uh i don't i don't want this class to be wasted that's it because there will be upcoming grade 11 and there are a lot of dust laws in grade 11 also okay? at least uh even though this is online you can have the lesson digested right we we can do it right then i know okay so far, I, I think that will be all for today. Thank you for your participation, grade 10. We did a lot today. Since this is online, we cannot uh, just give a lot of examples at the same time. We need to do it little by little. If you have question, please raise it in our GC, or you can uh, send a direct message to me or private message to me, right? I'm more than willing to help you. I think that will be all for today, class. Thank you for your participation, grade 10. Have a nice day, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a nice day, everyone. Goodbye. Thank you.